What's up everybody? Game Dev Cardo here and I'm here to talk to you guys about some of the tools we've been working on to uh, help us assess uh, some of the things going on in H1Z1. So uh, today we're here to talk about Headshot Body Shot. Uh, we know it's been a hot topic for quite a while and we're hoping that these debug tools uh, will help us kind of get to the bottom of it. Now the reason why I want to talk to you guys today is actually we're going to get these in your hands if you feel like it um, to give you the ability to kind of record combat and record what's going on so then you can take the clip of headshot body take the corresponding file send it in we can then go into the game um, load that file up and literally watch combat back how it happened exactly where the bullets went exactly where hitboxes were at and it should give us the information we need to finally put a nail on this thing so let's hop right into it um, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to uh, find your uh, H1Z1 install folder, which would be in Steam, Steam Apps, Common, H1Z1, most likely. And then from there, you want to go into your client config.ini. Now, when you edit this, you're going to basically go down to the bottom, bottom of the file. It's probably going to open up at the top, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and then you're going to put this guy in here. Now, it's going to be, uh, this is going to be in the YouTube description. Uh, so feel free to go ahead and just like copy pasta this and uh, instead of typing it out but you're going to want to do a command Q in brackets and then below that is essentially record underscore projectiles equals one we're going to go ahead and save this I'm going to load up the game and kind of give you guys a breakdown of what's going to go on so once you add that to your client config.ini what the game is going to do is as you have combat and as you land shots on other players it's going to start recording uh, your location uh, the origin of your bullets uh, where they landed on your opponent or they got close to your opponent and uh, most importantly uh, or I guess equally as important your opponent's hitbox and so what this will do is if you we need you guys to record clips just like you have been but then also send us these files because we can play back the clip watch what happened load up the file see what happened in game and get a much better assessment um, about some of these headshot body shot issues so I'm going to load up. I recommend doing this in um, combat zone just because of frequency of combat. And more importantly, um, when you get headshot body, you're going to want to stop immediately. Don't close the client. Let the client play. But what this is going to do is it will make it easier for you to find the last one of these files that were created so you know it's the one that had the headshot body in it. If you're playing a BR game and you go through and you get you know, 10, 15 kills and on kill number 6 or 7 is where you actually got headshot body, now you've got to dig through all these ADR files to find the one that you're looking for. Where if you do it in combat zone and you happen to get headshot body, you can just stop right there on the spot, grab the latest ADR file, either have chat clip it uh, or clip it yourself with you know shadow play or whatever tools you guys may be using, maybe your OBS to record and, and whatnot. So, all right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in here and see if I can't actually hit somebody tonight. It's kind of late, feeling kind of rusty, uh, and then we're gonna go and see. All right, there we go. So I got a couple hits on this guy. And then I'm actually gonna disengage and not try to find anybody else. We're gonna come over to this window. Hopefully I don't get shot. And we're gonna see what happens. So after I conclude combat, there's a, a cooldown window, if you will. Uh, the game will go ahead and uh, create that right there, that PDR file. This is what we're looking for. So it's a proj.pdr. And it's got some info in the middle. It's got a timestamp. Uh, and some other information for us. So these are the files that we're looking for. So if I go back in the game now and give myself a super serum, thank you, Bronze Dead. All right, let's go get in combat again. Audio would really help. All right, so we got this guy as well. And again, oh. you got me, GG brother. All right, so. Now that combat um, came to a conclusion, and now there's the second one. So this will be the first guy I killed. This is the second guy I killed. So we'll say, for example, I got headshot body on this guy. Um, what we would ask you guys to do is take the clip, get the clip up and ready, and then take uh, this file here and head to a uh, website like File Dropper. So file dropper, there's a bunch of these kind of upload sites out there. You guys are more than welcome to use whatever medium you want to. Uh, and then just upload file. And then you're gonna wanna go in, grab the latest file, click on upload. What you'll do is you send a tweet, feel free to send it at me on Twitter, um, at 
game underscore dev underscore cardo. Uh, send me a link to uh, this file here. I'll then grab it, paste it, download it, prove I'm not a robot. I'll be able to get the file, load it into my admin client, and then um, see exactly what happened. And so what we'll need from you guys, again, just to kind of reiterate, is we need a clip of the headshot body, and then as well as that .pdr file. Those two together should give us all the information we need so we can see exactly what's going on. And again, what those PDR files are going to do when I go to play it back, for example, if I were to play back the guy that I, that I shot on the hill, um, when I go back and I look at that, it shows where my character was at. It shows my bullet origin as well as the, the whole trajectory of the bullet. It will show me his hitbox, exactly where it hit on his hitbox. Um, so that one obviously would have been a two tap because I got two shots in the head. Um, and uh, and yeah, so it'll give us a lot of the information that we need. And what's important for us is we get a clip that looks like a completely legitimate headshot body. We can then dive into the game, play back exactly what happened in the game and give ourselves more information than we've ever had before on this issue. So this is a really, really powerful tool. And uh, we're just kind of excited to uh, get this out there, get the information coming in, and uh, hopefully put a nail on this thing and finally set it to rest. So um, one more quick recap on what you guys need to do. If you want to help, go to your install folder, hit up your client config. I really don't like that, so we're going to go to Notepad++. Hit up your client config. Again, you can find this down there at the bottom of the YouTube uh, link, so feel free to just copy it from there. Command Q, record, under, or record underscore projectiles equals one. Save your client config. Go into the game. Again, I recommend combat zone for this. So after, if you do get headshot body, once you do, you can just go ahead and stop what you're doing immediately. Easily get the newest .pdr. You don't want to close your client because if you close your client, it won't generate the file. But get the latest .pdr file. Package that up into whatever you know upload site you want to use. Send me a mention on Twitter. Get me a clip. Get me that file, and I will be more than happy to go ahead and download both of those. Take a look, hop in game, recreate, and see if we can't fix this issue. So that's going to do it for, for now. Um, you guys have a great one. I'll see you in the pit. Later.